she decided to up her training of shooting and asked Carter to help her. She put Shindy on undercover observations at Helena Faversham's place to uncover the strange energy readings Osgood was detecting. She was concerned about the conspiracy theorist. She posed as part of the charity commission to talk to Faversham. She tried to negotiate with the silence but they wouldn't do it. Audio. House of Silence. She forgot the whole incident with the silence, though could remember going to Faversham's house. Jackie got her to remember the investigation and with Osgood and Bishop's help they found the evidence. She found out that the silence were influencing the UK population to trust Kenneth LeBlanc and that Carter had been brainwashed too. Audio. Square one. She found it disconcerting about Carter's involvement in the resignation of the PM and that she had to remind her troops about the silence. When Bishop showed her the moon landing footage with the silence in them, she realized that it must have been the doctor who put it there. Kate became suspicious when the silence got Carter to order a high amount of explosives. She thought that they were planning to assassinate both LeBlanc and the outgoing prime minister as she thought that this was the best way to get media attention and overrule the doctor's message to kill them all. Audio. Silent majority. She was concerned after they lost contact with Osgood and Bishop on the unit satellite. She was trying to investigate the cause of the loss of communications. She discovered that the silence were manipulating the powers of the world to the brink of starting a war with each other. After she realized that the silence were also provoking the Teleni to fire on the unit space station, she used the footage of the destruction cut with the silence saying they were leaving the Earth, using McGee's editing skills to do it. Audio. In memory alone.